An East Tennessean teen is defying all the odds stacked against her through a passion for writing. Emily DeVoe tells us why her recent win in the Knoxville Young Writers Competition is something doctors never imagined could happen. Like any good story, Caitlin Cooks comes with a twist. Writing is my passion. There's not something else. Like, there's some kids who are like, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't care. And I've got my whole life planned out. The high school junior grew up loving books. I had a big shelf full of books and almost every night me and my mom would either read a picture book or when I got older we would read chapters. That interest in books sparked a passion for writing. Something that earned her first place in the nonfiction category of the Knoxville Young Writers Competition. I forgot about the whole competition and then I got the email that said I won and I was like, okay, it's, I got like fifth place. Like, I couldn't have won. And then I saw the post and I freaked out. It was first place and I was like, oh my God. Cook's success both in school and in all her hobbies. I play clarinet in the marching band and I taught myself how to play piano and I'm a black belt in taekwondo. It's nothing short of a miracle. Caitlin has Down syndrome. They didn't know how I was going to grow up. They didn't they didn't think I was going to be able to walk or talk on time at all. They didn't they didn't think I was going to be able to learn like at all. And now I'm here and I'm learning and I'm great. Her story, not just the one she writes, but the one she lives every day is an inspiration. I want everybody to know that you can do anything. If you want to do something, just do it. A motto that's won writing competitions, earned a black belt in Taekwondo, and continues to defy the odds. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. What an inspiring story. Kaylin says she's already written three books and hopes to get them published. Her next big endeavor, playwriting. I bet it's going to be fantastic.